Will Dexter's retirement hinder him from possibly winning his second Olympia in Las Vegas, Nevada in just under two months' time? This is Christian Duke. You're watching Strength Addicts on IGTV, maybe YouTube, maybe Facebook, or maybe you're listening on strengthaddictsradio.com. Wherever you may be watching or listening, all Strength Addicts coverage is brought to you courtesy of our title sponsor, BlackstoneLabs.com, your go-to source for all your hardcore bodybuilding supplements. Join the Blackstone Labs Legion if you want to jump into the fitness industry. And remember, loyalty is everything. Also, a big thank you to our supporting sponsor, TitanMedicalCenter.com, your go-to source for all your hormone therapies, medical weight loss, amino therapies, B-complex, glutathione, and so much more. Check them out at TitanMedicalCenter.com. So, Dexter Jackson, we all know he's going to retire. I personally took his retirement message as meaning that he would no longer compete at the Mr. Olympia after 2020. Other people seem to think that this retirement encompasses all shows, but whether it's the latter or the former, does it hinder him from possibly winning his second Sandow? Well, we all know that a huge part of being Mr. Olympia is being bodybuilding's ambassador to the world. So wrap your head around that and tell me, if a guy is known to be retiring, can he be an effective ambassador for the sport for the following year? That is the question that kind of keeps me up at night because in the rare instance, and I say rare because Brandon is coming, all systems uh, firing, you know, He's, he's, he's poised, he's focused, he's had to leave his family to go to Kuwait to make all the preparations and all the improvements. And if you think Brandon last year was impressive, this year's Brandon blows last year's Brandon away by a mile. But Brandon is still human. And, you know, if Brandon holds water, if he spills over, if he's not all there, if there's something, Dexter can swoop in and get the win. Now, why do I say that? I'm not saying that, you know, Dexter Jackson can only beat, you know, an off Brandon Curry. But if we're going to go back to the old folklore, you have got to knock out a Mr. Olympia. So if Brandon's a little off, that may not be enough, even if Dexter is 100% on. Now, I've got really Winkler as my runner up. I've got Dexter Jackson as my second runner up. That's to say I've got Dexter Jackson solid in my top three. So in the top three, anything can happen. But the question is, this is the only question about this video. And this is a question I really, really want you guys to leave comments down below because I really want to sort of get a feel for what you're thinking. So don't just double tap on this video. Leave me a comment down below. And I don't even want to do a poll because a poll is yes or no. I want you to share your insights on this matter. So if you're a judge, I'm not a judge. I've never been a judge. I've never been a test judge. I have no interest in judging. I don't speak for the MPC, the Ivy Pro League. I'm just a bald guy talking into his phone with two great sponsors. But here's the question. If we have a Brandon that is off, we have a Dexter that's on, and it's close though, or, or a better scenario, we have a Brandon that's slightly off. Because here's the thing, even though you technically have to knock out a Mr. Olympia, Dexter does get now none of this is on the scorecards this is all like opinion but either the judges are people okay obviously right and so yes you have to knock out a Mr. Olympia but if the guy next to him is also a Mr. Olympia that may also get a little bit of leverage I don't know I'm just I'm talking about the lowest levels the lowest recesses of the subconscious mind trying to break a tie. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about poses. I'm not talking about transitions. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about a close Olympia and the judges being humans and them trying to break a tie. Okay, so put yourself in that mindset. So if you've got a damn near dead heat between Brandon Curry and Dexter Jackson, does Dexter's retirement hurt him? In other words, does the judge say, well, this guy's done with the sport? Does that hurt him? I, because I honestly think that it does. I really think that it does. And I don't like, I like the idea that he retired because it gives him an opportunity to go out the way that he wants. It gives him an opportunity to let the fans know. It gives him the opportunity to so, sort of gradually walk away from the sport competitively. But I don't like it in the sense that it, it's, it's information that I think could hinder him when it comes down to deciding a very, very close Olympia. And I personally think that a guy who's going to retire the day after the show would probably not be the most ideal candidate to be the sports ambassador to the world for a full year after the competition. What do you say?